doesn't do anything for oh, monoxides or anything like that when it goes out there and it pollutes the atmosphere. But there's, as long as it's clear out there, that's all we worry about. We don't put any particles out. Uh, so yeah, this right here, we have a manually clear. I got a guy downstairs. We, we may see him when we're down here. He's manually pulling at what they call the ash. All the ash is uh, we're uh, on a grate. There's a grate that rotates inside the such woods. It's rotating toward the front of the woods. Okay. And, uh, and it drops down, down the wall, and it's, it's stored there. Now I send my helper downstairs, and he's right now. That's where he's, we got a site where he's steam to move our uh, pull the suction on our system, vacuum system, and pulls it all out to the side of the there. And that's what he's down there. He's digging in, and then getting all this uh, ash to go down the wall and out to the side of that, that we were hearing not shoot up to be there's some place that. Oh, here, okay, now that's a cold system. Oh, that's cool. Okay. okay. We have a truck. The trucks come in on here, out yeah. here on this scale. We wade in there, and then they pull over, which is what we call the grizzlies over here. And then there's a concrete wall. Uh, if you go to walk out there, you can look out later when you go out there. You look out there's a, a grading system. All the pools look down here. We have a good density there. There's a lot of concentrated. We use the air. We move there. All our coal is there. Uh, we, we, uh, we do have a conveyor system that runs under, underneath the silos. These are silos here that hold 360 tons of, uh, of coal. And uh, then we move underneath we move, and it moves the coal down toward another big conveyor. We use the air that we shoot up into our bunkers, which are uh, these three here. So they hold coal for a day. You might say it's, just, it's like a day, day. You know anything about these things? Like a day tent. You hold it all your call the coal for the work during the day. Okay. Instead of having the silo directly on there, we just use a day uh, a bunker. Uh, <coughs> this is my coal moving system right here. I can control uh, the different bunkers. I got uh, three bunkers, uh, three different boards, and uh, three different uh, silos. Okay. And the, the si uh, bunkers they hold about. Oh. About 200 tons. So, wow. Is this is where everything's controlled. And everything right here. This, this is can be considered the control of the zone. Like, uh, uh, like so this, you use a Delta V system here. Uh, for our, uh, looks, I can, uh, like right here, I can, uh, I can show my drum level where the water is right now. This shows me my uh, drum pressure. This is, what, this is what the whole plant together is, what we're putting on down the line. And I control everything from right here. My fan speeds from, uh, this is a, an ID fan. This is an indirect fan. In other words, I'm pulling the suction on this water. And I'm also pushing air into it with an FD fan downstairs. And to cool the sides of the boiler walls, I use an overfire fan and blow air in along the side of the wall to keep the plane, everything off the sides of the wall and into the center for it. Create turbulence also. Uh, also regulate my O2, excess O2 in the waters, my fuel gas temperatures. It's just, uh, I've got, I can control the majority of everything right here. I got, I've got it all right here, starting to stop in the borders. I don't put the draft rod to start. It, it, it's, uh, it's also automated, where it'll take care of some stuff by itself. Or do you have to do it? No, I have to do most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it doesn't do it. I mean, as far as, uh, uh, I'm trying to compare the two. No. Uh, okay. Right now we're, we have a yeah, variable fan. Before we had only this type of fan. We had a high speed and a low speed. And when you switch them, I mean, one may drop out, one will drop out, the other one will kick in and come up to speed. Well, when that happens, there's that lull in there, and you had nothing on the water, and you puff this place every time I do it. But now, <laughs> then with the variable speed, there's just, it just goes from a couple, let's say, uh, 800, 600 RPMs up to 1200. Problem. I, I don't even realize that. Uh, which makes it real nice. That makes it really extremely nice around here. Uh, I can watch my uh, over here on this other. I can watch my pressures. Uh, how much, uh, what I'm putting out as far as uh, like right now, I'm putting out uh, about 1,500 pounds of water a day. Uh, I'm putting out about 1,500 pounds of water a day. I'm putting out and I can regulate that with the stoker over here for a stoker, they call stoker bias. 
if one is total power and the other one I can do, either a negative or a positive, it's sort of a constant that it won't bite each other. That's maybe right. And there's two eyes. Uh, is there a reason why they don't pay you like this here? Well, at the time it was cheaper when they built this plant just to buy electricity and trying to generate your own. Well, now that the uh, podcast minister said they were talking about putting a low pressure turbine in here and possibly put generating, but that's just talk. And it could happen down the road, maybe 20 years later, I've gone a long time, and it probably never happened in my life down here. It was just talk. I mean, uh, generate down to old power plants, we had 600 pound, uh, pound system, which you could generate the electricity, which they did for the whole campus. But they it, it found it more feasible just to buy it from then it's specifically power and light. Now it's, uh, I don't know who it is anymore. It changes every year. I'm kind of hoping to hang around here and see how I'm walking through each one of the cells. What I'm doing is I'm reversing. There's, there's 180 bags out here. Each one of the cells out here. Hangs. And uh, all the air goes through, the exhaust air goes through that, and all the particles get out on the on the outside of the bags. Well, I want to collapse those bags, drop all that stuff down to down at the bottom. That's what's going on over here in the deep bottom of these coffers. That's what I'm doing right now. They're all the ash dropping down into those, and then I'll come along with this system and I'll suck all all the ash out and put it out and get it inside of one. Okay. Yeah, so you just like through. I'm just cycling through every uh, every cell out here, just collapsing the bags. Putting them reverse, what's called a reverse air fan. In other words, inflating the bags one way when it's a normal operation, then I, I put another motor on and I, and I put the fans and I collapse the bags and all the stuff on, on, on the outside. All of a sudden, the room leaves the bags drop down to the bottom so, uh, of the uh, bag house. I'm on each one of these little hoppers out here. Oh, I got them. Yeah. Cool. Hi. 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 There's a vacuum. Yeah, a vacuum. You got it. Oh, that's how Yeah. Okay. Well, right now, yeah. another guy downstairs is pulling ash. And I got to have someone vacuum pull it on out there. Right. We use a Venturi type system. Oh, we know we're using steam blowing, you know, how Venturi works. Yeah. Okay. They're using that. They've got steam blowing in there and it creates a uh, vacuum on the whole sit on a, on a piping system. Okay. It's sucking on a two like vacuum. Okay. Yeah, I get it.